All right, so here it is in all of its glory. At first I thought I would go the typical route with all the fancy B-roll shots and cinematics. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just make this video as raw as possible. The main change is I no longer work off of a desktop computer. I now have a laptop. It's way more powerful than my old PC was and I just sold the old one for way cheaper than I bought it. Somebody's making a profit off of that right now. Second uh, change you may notice is that I no longer have a uh, secondary display because it was blocking the sound from the speakers and the, the speakers were my only source of sound for a while. Just a these headphones a couple days ago because the old ones Sennheiser ones just broke Bayer dynamic DT 770 Pro real uh, neutral sound anyway nobody cares but yeah I still enjoy working with a single monitor like this and if I need to use references for drawing I just open the laptop lid Oh sh**, sliding this thing off the fucking table. I'll just open the lid and there you go, double displays. Some people have like a laptop dock type thing, but I think they look kind of ugly. I don't like these slanted things. I like how everything is like following the same angle, you know? <laughs> it's not diagonal. The mic arm back there creates a little bit of imbalance. It destroys the symmetry a bit. Like functionality matters as well. Not just aesthetics, although I do like an aesthetically pleasing setup. And you know, speaking of which, I got these things sent over to me free of charge by Grove made this fancy ass mouse pad with the pen holder which is ideal for me because I don't like these little pen trays that come with tablets usually like this is much more convenient like you're using your mouse and then boom get this you have this in your hand and you're able to draw how do I draw you ask I push this stuff back pull this stuff out and boom we're now able to control god it went to the other monitor because it just opened the lid up so it uh, f***ed up some settings yeah you, had, you gotta deal with these minor inconveniences this tablet is old as f by the way it's like cheap we on tablet i used to work on a screen tablet but they switched back to the screen less model because it's wireless i don't have to be confined to a nasty cable i can just pop this in there in the desk shelf thing. So another thing they sent me was this wrist pad, wrist rest. I switched out the standard wrist rest that came with this Corsair keyboard. It's the same one, K70 MK2 low profile. Yeah, you put your arm in here, you put your palm here and then you type words and it's all comfortable. I'm not sure if it fits aesthetically with the keyboard, but the measurements were like exactly the same down to the millimeter. I just wish that my tabletop was a little bit lighter to match with it as well like the tones don't quite match yeah this headphone stand was also sent to me by grove made it's really sturdy really solid the wood tone actually complements the table a little bit better on this one the tones vary a little bit like the leather here is a little bit darker than over here yeah they, they vary just a little bit because it's all handmade stuff oh yeah and finally i got this notebook sent to me which also matches the theme so i pop this in here to have it look cool create like a pop of color set my alexa device to orange as well set the, <laughs> the wallpapers to orange i got my prints on orange you can still buy these by the way anyway this is where i write down my tasks and such when i'm working on a video or like a commission or whatever did like sub tasks of main tasks go here and the main tasks of the day go on this thing right here on the side table oh, Speaking of which, I haven't even shown this side table yet. Nifty little <laughs> L-desk situation I have going on here. I just use my old IKEA desk here. The main desk is a standing desk. But yeah, this is where I sketch in my sketchbook, where I study anatomy from a book. I have a bunch of drawing books here, so if I'm feeling like drawing, I can do that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of figure drawing stuff in here. Some goblins. Yeah, uh, sketchbook tour. Should do that as well at one point. Got some of my stickers. Buy my stickers too, bitch. <laughs> Link in the description below. But anyways, I got this uh, cheap Chinese thing for my birthday. I cannot speak and write at the same time. 12.2022. Date before the month. Because... Europe. Yeah, write my tasks here. Task. Task. 
two and then I cross these off and then when everything's crossed off, I press this and boom, it's clear. No paper waste required, you know what I'm saying? I got this for free. I like, I wouldn't have seeked this out myself. Got a printer, which I'm obviously not using as you can tell by the dust on here. Actually, I just used this to scan my sketchbook pages. There are these uh, figures over here. Got the female model as well some time ago, like last year. Light over here. Dirty ass mouse pad. New mouse pad is made from a different material. Just got it to match with my theme, like the gray and the black theme. The main desk is a standing desk, so the controls are over here. This is, this thing is, I haven't touched that, attached this properly. I like only one screw is attached, so I can move it like this. Couldn't be bothered to fix it. Got like a drawer on this side where I keep some important stuff. Webcam that I use to record my videos. I ain't no fancy YouTuber with an expensive camera. I just use my phone and the webcam. Uh, Got a lighter to light my candle over here. That says 69 in front of my YouTube play button. Yeah, so I stand, keep myself moving like this, keep myself active to not turn into like a 70 year old at age 26, because I'm sitting down a lot. So now I'm standing up a lot as well. Got like a coaster that I literally stole from a pub. Just. <laughs> To put this in my pocket. So yeah, what are these things you ask? This is the a gamer pad. It's a macro pad that I use for shortcuts while I'm painting. This is a stream deck, which is basically the same thing, but it's got like small displays on the buttons. You don't have to memorize the shortcuts while in this one you do. So why wouldn't I buy two stream decks for like a stream deck XL? It's because this thing has like a dial, a D-pad, and yeah, <laughs> for those two reasons. I have these like fully decked out. So if I launch Clip Studio here, for example, the shortcuts turn into Clip Studio shortcuts. So like these are the main shortcuts and here are some brushes that I most commonly use. OBS recording adjustments and less commonly used shortcuts are right here at the top. So yeah, I've got everything at my fingertips reach at all times, which is very convenient. This thing is just standing on like a random ass cardboard to match the height of the Tartarus. I wish there was like a custom casing. I wish I should probably commission somebody on Etsy. So yeah, let's go back down. I got like some LEDs under the desk. Cool gamery floaty look. Cable management. People love to see cable management. It's kind of shit for me. Like it's just like an Ikea Signum thing and I just put like a power bar in there like a power strip. Yeah, it's messy. I don't really care though as long as they're not showing. There's the ethernet cable down there. I can't really use any cable trays or whatever because it needs to move along with the table. And yeah, there's the main power strip cable. The weakest link of the setup is probably the monitor though. Like it's a 4K monitor, but it's the cheapest one on the market. And it's got kind of shit colors compared to even my laptop monitor. I, I am planning to upgrade though. That's the next on the upgrade list probably. Maybe the keyboard will be replaced too eventually with something that matches the orange and wood aesthetic a little bit better. Maybe I should get into the custom mechanical keyboard world. Kind of nerd shit though. Speaking of upgrades, actually... <laughs> The chair needs to be replaced ASAP. I'm going to make like a huge investment in my chair, probably because like I can replace chairs, but I can't replace my back. Maybe go like the Herman Miller route even, although that's probably overkill. Still using the Scarlett Solo for audio controls. Mic is connected into here. Still the same microphone, still the same speakers. Oh yeah, something I did also switch out was the desk shelf. I used to have like a tiny one, but I got like one that has two floors floors for more storage and easy access and yeah it has like some usb holes usb 3 ports here on the side that i don't use i have all my usb devices down there and yeah let's uh, move around the room a little bit it's been looking like this. I got some workout gear there. I work out in the same room as I work in PewDiePie style and doing the two in the same room. I have like quite a nice view going on here. It's sad though because I won't be living here for much longer actually. I have like one and a half months left here. Then I'll be moving to a new place again. But yeah, the view is quite nice. It's very snowy out here, but like the electricity bills are like actually fucking ridiculous. It's just like a money drain. Landed like a nice freelance job 
that paid me pretty decently, but all of that is going to my fucking electricity bill just to heat this place up because it's pretty big. Got some spray paints, got some green ski, g green screen gear, some anime manga type shit over here. Let me pull this out. Immersive Japanese gaming, bringing a new edge to iGaming. This some bullshit headlines. This company doesn't even exist anymore, but yeah, these are my drawings. This was from my first studio job. Like I worked for this Japanese company that was trying to bring casino games, slot games to the Japanese market somehow, even though it's banned there. Yeah, this, I drew these bad boys. This is my stuff right here. More of my stuff. Real interesting shit in it. Yeah, I painted these characters for the slot game. During my time and this company stopped in 2020. I was kind of forced to leave actually, but that's the story for another day. Total money makeover. Oh, trying to get the rich from social interaction books, how to win friends and influence people. That's, um, yeah, I learned to write emails <laughs> with this book. Got some years worth of sketchbooks. This is all the stuff since 2016. And that's the stack of sketchbooks I've built up. Most of this is just pure garbage actually, but you got to make a whole bunch of garbage to find some gems in the midst of it. Uh, yeah, the rest of the room has got like, it's pretty spacious. It's got like high ceilings. So that's why the echo is so strong here. But yeah, I'll be moving to a smaller apartment again soon. So the echo will be a thing of the past. Typical YouTuber apologizing for echo in his room. While well, nobody gives a shit. It's like until the moment you pointed it out. I like a cyberpunk art book, design books, some weep shit. I bought these when I was like, what, 17? I don't know why I still have these. You got some whole bunch of garbage back there but yeah if you want to support the channel you can get the grow made stuff through my affiliate link down below they got like a huge selection of very stylish handmade desk accessories i'm also linking my kit down below which got all the products you can see in this setup 